want you to know yet. That's the problem. All right. So, you need a. You have a clean. Oh, you want to use that? Okay. So now these are your mandible, the mandibular glands. So starting with that. Um, here is your digastric. Here is your um, masseter. Um, so here is your trachea, and then this should split into two. One, the one that's on your um, so this muscle here should actually split into two. Um, there's one underneath, and that's your um, mylohyoid. And then on top is your no, sorry, your on top is your myohyloid, and underneath is your myothyroid. So you might want to separate that to see it. This is your thyroid gland. This it, this might be your. Uh, I don't know what this one is. I'm not sure about that, but I would. I thought that was your. Yeah. The rest of the pathology is all medicine. That might be your Milo, but I'm not sure. Um. Okay. So. What else do I want you to know here? Um. <laughs> yeah, flip for now. Okay. So, next page. In the actual assignment for the thing, it says only three to four pages of text, and the fifth page would be the, so the after, but you're accepting five pages? Okay. So, this is your clavitrapezius. Um, whoa. This is your. Where's your pictorious major? Do we have to cut that? Oh, okay. That would be where yours is. It's gone. Um, so. See if there's anything big here. I'm definitely gonna burn Sternomastoid is this. Here would be your external jugular, which is gone. Um, and your internal jugular would obviously be inside. Um, so if you flip it on its side. So. Oh boy, this is difficult. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this stuff. It's so. <laughs> so, clavitrapezius, temporalis. I don't have your tricep anymore, so I can't. Cut. It's here somewhere, I'm sure, but... Or did you cut it off? I think we had to cut that one. Okay. Um, this is a little hard to explain what things are. Which probably means my mink looks like this, which probably means I'll ask you from the mink manual. So I would know it in the mink manual. Because, like this stuff, you don't even have any more, which means my mink doesn't have it either, which means like your splenius was the big muscle underneath your rhomboid, your rhomboidius thoracis cervicis and um, the other one that I always forget, capitis. That was that big muscle, so if I still have that on mine, I might ask you about that big muscle. Um, so your cleidomastoid, I don't know if you still have yours. To even show you that. This is more stuff that I really can't show you. Okay, flip it over and we'll see if there's anything that I can show you. Sorry, I still Okay. So here should be your. Um, 
This muscle should be your serratus ventralis. One of my friends named sausage. This should be your scapularis. Exactly. This should be your teres major. Next time you tell her you're eating something, she's going to be like, actually, my mink's name is pizza. <laughs> so here should be your heat waves. This is very interesting looking. One of these is your spinalis posterior, but which one, I'm not sure right now. Um, this is very odd. You just twisted the opposite way of the body. That's good. Um, a lot of this stuff is cut on yours, too. Um, that group. I need to shake their hands. Okay. Better be Johnny So the forelimb. <laughs> which I heard, I would feel so wrong if I don't Hmm. I don't think there's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would know the manual. Like, if my mink looks like your mink, which it does, I obviously cannot ask you to identify things that aren't missing. Um, so he is I'm not even sure. This is another thing that I would use the manual for. Um, especially since I know these were, a lot of people cut these. Um, this is your external abdominal oblique, and that gets cut. Um, this, I think I have a good picture of in my on my mink, so this might be from the mink. Is that on the side? It, it's the side muscle, um, and it's very thin. And when you cut through like the very thin layers, you see the different. Um, Ways the muscle right, runs. So, so then your leg. <laughs> you removed your biceps from uh, femoris, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, this one? Oh, okay. So that's your biceps from femoris. This is your tensa fascia lata. This is your sartorius, and it runs over to the other side. Um, your gluteus maximus should be here. Right here. Um, I feel like if I study the diagram, I don't know where you're. For the semitendinosus? Yeah. I think maybe we cut it in like right here or right here. Okay, yeah. That'd be that actually. Well, that's. No, this is your. So if this was like this, your semitendinosus would be over here, and then this would be your um, caudal femoralis. Um, and then once that flips over, you have your vastus lateralis. Sartorius again. Um, did you remove uh, your tendinosus? This is a, a nerve. Is this a sciatic nerve? Yeah, this is the sciatic nerve. You should have a tennis mystis. Tennis mystis. Oh, that's this, eh? Yes, that's your tennis mystis. I don't even know how to say it. Um, okay, I think you can flip it over. And then... 
Is it two nerves or does the sciatic nerve turn into the tibial nerve? I'm not sure. Um, don't worry about nerves now anyway, only because it should branch. Um, but we're not doing nerves now anyway. And like I said, for the leg stuff, it'll definitely be from the manual. So I would know the manual for the leg. And the rest is just leg. Yeah, it should be just leg. But if it's a big muscle that's like prominent and clear, I'll ask from the mink. Otherwise, it'll be small muscles. I'll definitely use the mink. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.